All right, hello YouTube, you saw the title. Let's go ahead and get into the lesson. G minor seven, C nine, F major seven, B flat major nine, which this is the first half of the main progression used in the song. E minor seven, flat five, A seven, D minor, D seven. So, the G minor 7 is going to be an F chord on the 3rd fret without the pinky and the middle finger. And you're going to be strumming all the strings right there. Um, C9 is going to be like a 4 finger G chord but crunched in. It's going to be 3 on the A, 2 on the D, 3 on the G, then 3 on the B. You just hit those middle strings right there. Aim for those middle. Aim for the middle. Don't really go for the E. Going for the high E won't be bad, but the low E doesn't sound great. F major 7. Pretty simple chords, chord, even though it's kind of jazzy. It's still using a lot of normal music. 0, 1, 2, 3. And you strum from the D string down. 0, 1, 2, 3. Next chord, B flat major 9. You're going to bar the first fret, put your middle finger on the G string second fret, and put your ring finger on the third fret of that D string, and strum, strum from the A string down. You can get that low E in there. It doesn't sound that bad, honestly. You can get the E in there, but the main chord, you know, A string down. Then E minor 7 flat 5. Sounds hard whenever I say it, but the actual chord is pretty simple. Index finger on the first fret of the A, and your pinky goes on the third fret of the B. And then that's it for that chord. Then your A7, which is pretty convenient to transition to, you know, because you're doing this. Then you plant those other two fingers that you weren't using. It's going to be open, two, open, two, open. And you strum from the A string down. D minor, a pretty standard chord. Uh, one, three, two, open. Strum from the D string down. And D7, which is just like a D chord, but the B string goes from the third to the first fret. So then it's going to be two, one, two, open. Those are going to be the chords that are going to be used throughout the song, throughout the main parts of the song, besides the chorus and the solo. I mean, you could play, you could like strum these chords over the solo, but the solo is actually easier, so you might as well just go ahead and play the solo, because uh, these chords are pretty complex and hard and jazzy, and the solo is actually pretty simple. Um, so, yeah, so for the intro, I just arpeggiate it. You know, I just go, I pick through each chord at the tempo of, at which the kind of like the piano keys are going at. And I change chords whenever I need to. Then I take, instead of going to the D minor, I go right into the D7 after the A7. And then I just... You know, just keep on doing alternate strums and... And then rise that up to kind of get the feel of the song. So, that, 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 and then skip the D minor. Then you go into the verse. Someone wrote this song before. Seven, A7 to D minor, to 
to D7, that E minor 7, you know, just, that's actually a flat 5, my bad, you know, I just did that for simplicity of, you know, talking over strumming those, so that's going to be how you play the verse and how you strum those, now the outro, the first half you're going to quickly arpeggiate, and then you are not going to have the D7 at the end, so, for example, just like the intro. But instead of bringing the D7 up, you just slowly, not slowly, you kind of just strum the D minor and bring it up an entire octave until you kind of get it how it rang out originally. So for me, just. And then now you slowly arpeggiate it with counts of four. One and it's I think it yeah. Now instead of going to any D minor or D7 chord, you just take this or you could just slowly just drag this up. If you have your volume high up enough, I just don't have it that high. Um, but yeah, I just like to do kind of alt drums or you could kind of like just hybrid pick. and just drag it all the way up an entire octave. Actually, you don't drag it up an entire octave, you drag it up 11 frets, and then you abruptly cut it off. Kind of like how the album does it. And then, yeah, you're not supposed to really hit those, uh, You know, the same thing because it goes all the way up almost to an octave and then the song cuts off. So you go up 11 frets, not 12. And you don't play, at the very end, you don't play any D minor, any D minor 7. You're just going to be G minor 7, C9, F major 7, B flat major 9. Minor seven flat five. Climb up with the A seven chord. You could strum it. You could hybrid pick it. As long as you're getting these notes, eleven frets up, you should get similar to the original sound of the song. That's going to be it. I will have a part two with the chorus and the solo, and I'll see you later. Peace.